who, who, who tried to steal my identity, who even uh, then did uh, atrocities. So, so uh, this, these things, they just don't work out. I mean, uh, I know what this all me means, and especially in Austria, where this uh, legal system, and as well as the state, I mean, it did uh, just not function well. I mean, in, in Austria, everyone who wants to can do whatever he wants. I mean, it, it, it was really hideous in a way. I mean, some, some people would dress up as policemen, stop you, harass you, then as lawyers, then in the university, they come in, it is some sort of a new gag, new joke among among white leftist people in in the US, white leftist, they, they paint their faces black and pose in front of cameras, whereas in Austria and Germany, the, the white uh, left, they dresses up as policemen, as, as, ju as, as judges, as, as, as university professors and then uh, some sort of mob mob uh, foreigners or try to uh, destroy uh, other people's life and of course it makes you uh, infuriate of course you are you are mad ab about this and and, 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 and uh, I was and I still am and, but but it is some sort of and indeed you want to find a solution for this I mean you would be you cannot you cannot live in a constant state of war uh, and you want this to end of course uh, not only for your sake but as well as for the sake of other people as well as for your future uh, generations but you don't know how that's the big issue because how can you stop uh, st stop this from happening I mean when I he see here in Turkey as well as in Austria the very same people who stole your identity or did all these atrocities they apparently are, are not in in prison or whatsoever they roam the streets I mean we are talking about some 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 very threatening cases and they are even being released I mean this this of course makes you think about it I mean this is of course I mean uh, makes you deeply hate Austria I mean uh, I hate everything of Austria and I don't want to hold back of uh, to 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 announce my hatred I mean I uh, I, f I think one of the worst places to be in this crisis would actually be Austria this is again my personal opinion it is it is uh, it has to do with what I have experienced with this and and and, uh, and not once uh, but many many times and, uh, and 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 I to this very day deeply regret having ever applied for the Austrian citizenship I mean I am Austrian citizen and I I I just I just do not associate myself as Austrian. I will never associate myself as Austrian for, for this I hate this country and these people just too much. I despise them. I mean if I had to choose I'd I didn't wanna speak a word German for the rest of my life and I mean I don't wanna have to do anything with these people. However, uh, it is because partially of the citizenship, partially that these people still cannot uh, leave you alone, that uh, that uh, that you still st still are being trapped in this. I mean, it is something which is not over, which has not ended. I mean, I started uh, writing in English, which I think was a great relief for me. This is something. Yeah, because for me, writing in Austrian or, or in German, in, uh, writing in German, it was just so devastating because this is the very same culture, the very same language who does not consider me as a human being. And then you use this language, then you use this culture to 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 create this this cultural. Good. I mean, this is in, indeed, I mean, uh, Austrians, uh, neither Germans ever appreciated what I did. 
uh, only those two accolades which I got for uh, for children books only at this they were um, the only acknowledgement whatsoever but then uh, they were meant for something entirely else and they were not meant for me in that sense but not only to ruin my name and yeah of course this 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 this, this makes it very difficult and 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 i i always wanted to leave austria i mean i just i cannot imagine to to live in austria ever i mean, uh, I mean for this i just uh, hate these people too much i mean my life is is in in uh, in peril in austria ever i mean even here these people here in turkey who sneak around me they still they actually think that they once they have my passport or whatever no matter what the austrians they would help them and and they even think that i mean i don't know whether this is true but some of these people think that don't you worry the, the austrians they want him all dead and if we get rid of him then we would do the austrians a, a, a favor and they would then have appreciate us they would some sort of look away when we then come to austria and some sort of resume uh, his identity this is what these people really think and assume and so on that's the reason why they are sneaking around me and they and they have indeed the the right or or, or are true in their assumption because it was successful it happened twice twice publicly Uh, so, uh, someone else uh, uh, took over my identity and then and then and then got those accolades and yet to this very day i i don't get free of them to this very day uh, this is still haunting me and my life is very insecure or is still under threat from this i mean the worst place for me to live would be austria i just hate this place I mean, and 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 i could not imagine living there i mean what life would that be i mean uh, i can assume when i would live in austria when i in my absence everyone would come in to my home you will you don't know whether you are getting busted then every year before christmas you get busted for this so reason that some people can wear their wear your clothes and then go to their family meetings and so on i mean uh, i mean uh, never jesus never i mean I, i would not want to live ever in austria and all this time i try to do one thing and this is to get off to get out of this despicable country to leave these people behind uh, i mean all this time i'm trying i did not start writing in english because i i f thought that i would earn money whatsoever no i just uh, could not bring myself to write in german anymore this is how much hate i feel towards this language towards these people i don't mind whether i mean because it was actually a disadvantage to write in english because i in english i'm not that proficient as in german no matter that so many austrians say that i would not be that i would be uh, not capable of speaking proper german i mean racist and sadly enough these are left leftist racists and however uh, it didn't me not good uh, i don't i don't think that my writing became better since i started writing in english but never the less i f feel way more liberated i i feel uh, every word every sentence i speak in english has for me in my conscience the belief that i i do uh, uh, good instead of when i write in german uh, or is speaking german or whatever then i always felt that i some sort of help to to maintain a dangerous cause a uh, 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 a menace for society and so on because this culture it is not new i mean xenophobia hatred this is not new within this culture this is this is very common this was before that i mean 
and this happened uh, uh, in Vienna as well, so that they use anti-Semitic vocabularies against other foreigners. That's why you you have to uh, look carefully. That's why you you have to open your eyes to this society. And I um, just cannot associate myself as as a Austrian whatsoever. This, this, for me, this is unthinkable. People who just hate you, who who made my life um, miserable because of these people. I'm I'm there where I am. I I'm still think I would be way better off when I wouldn't have uh, when I would have started writing in English way earlier. When I when I wouldn't have when I wouldn't have been so hesitant because I wanted to start in English start writing in English earlier, but I was always some sort of, I, I did not have the self-confidence because uh, I, I mean, this was, this was partially my own fault because back in the school, I was a lazy slug. I did not learn my vocabularies, my English vocabularies properly. I did not invest much time in school for language. I mean, if I had known uh, um, if I had known what my life would come to, that my life would derail, and one chance to avoid this would have been English. I mean, then of course I would have invested a lot of time uh, uh, for English lessons. However, and I mean, in a way, I mean, um, I'm over thirty, and in a way, you cannot change it anymore. I mean, I was mad about it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I was infuriated. I was mad about it. I mean, I uh, I thought that I have lost my life and without prospect that it will ever come to a, to a, a positive end. I mean, I made my peace with it now, but I was, there was a day I, I swear I could not sit a moment still. I was rested. I wanted to some someone pay for this because I just didn't see that that uh, that justice was done and it wasn't. I mean, these people who are still sneaking around at me, they are still rubbing in uh, under it my nose. And this was back in the day when you still thought, I mean, one day we will overcome this. One day I will leave this behind and then, yeah, you will see, then I will look back and so on. But now it has changed. I mean, you are your perspective has changed because you see life differently. And you could say more and more, more and more by the time you make your peace with, with it and then you understand, yeah, I'm only one of seven billions and, to, and maybe what happened to me, this could be the chance in a way to... to, to bring about chance and there, this is when you piece by piece you you some sort of mitigate your hatred, mitigate your anger and then you do wanna good you you do wanna create create something even though I do not believe that that uh, I will bring about change with words. So so I don't believe that my texts or what I write will ever change people's minds. Uh, I think we need therefore other, other means are necessary. However, but it can probably if a, a smile, a laugh or two, well, who knows? Who knows? At least it, it helps me a lot. Sometimes, I mean, I do not, I don't do this very often. Sometimes I, I read my own stuff some sort of, uh, if I correct it, then it makes me happy. So maybe it does others too. However, this was Adam Kiewas from Ordu. Uh, I hope you all are doing fine. Bye.